now we have talked about two epidemic spreading models two disease spreading models one was the sir model and another was the sis model what was happening in both of these models was there were certain nodes in so we were given a network and there were certain nodes in this network and these nodes were connected with the help of some edges something like this and what was happening is these nodes were changing their colors with time changing their phases with time so initially all of these nodes were susceptible and then some of the nodes in this network have become infected and these infected nodes had started infecting the other people and while this was happening some nodes in the network were getting recovered as well and some nodes were turning out from infected uh, were going from infected state back to the susceptible state so something like this was happening these nodes were these nodes are changing their colors with time and these nodes are changing their colors with time shifting from one phase to another now my question to you is this process where these nodes are changing their color somebody is getting infected and then somebody is getting susceptible somebody is getting recovered do you think that this process stops after some time or do this process keeps running for an infinite period of time what do you think is the answer so you might want to pause the video for 2 minutes and think about it let's first talk about the sir model so let's see what happens in the sir model in sir model initially every node is susceptible so i'll take a network of five nodes here and initially every node is susceptible let me put some edges between these nodes all these are susceptible nodes and we have some edges between these nodes these are the edges and then what happens is we need at least one infected person in this network to spread infection and let's say this is the node here which is infected and this node starts the infection what's going to happen afterwards is this node might infect some more nodes so let's say this node passes on the infection to this node and this node here gets infected and let's say this node passes over the infection to this node also and this node also gets infected here but what will happen after certain period of time after some time this node will go back to the recovered state right or the removed state and as soon as this node gets goes into the recovered state or removed state you kind of see that it is locked it is locked means it's kind of removed from our network now we can do nothing with this node it's out of question right and then we had these two infected nodes over here and then these two infected nodes might infect some of the nodes or might not infect some of the nodes and get recovered so these nodes are also going to be recovered after some time so this is one possible configuration which can occur once the process stops so you see here the process will definitely st uh, stop in this case so let's say that this infection was spreading here and what has happened here is there is there comes an iteration where no node is infected so this is an iteration where what happens is no new node is infected so we have seen that when no new node is infected the process comes to an end no new node was infected and with time both of these nodes they also went into the recovered state now this network is done it the process stops nothing is going to happen but let's say the process doesn't stop here so these nodes were red here these nodes were infected here and the process doesn't stop here these nodes keep infecting other nodes even then don't you think that after some period of time this process will come to an end because there is a fixed supply of nodes after some time both of these nodes are also going to become recovered and as soon as these two nodes become recovered they are also locked and so on the process keeps going keeps going keeps infecting and the node starts being locked more and more nodes become locked and a time will come where every other node in the network is locked 
so this process will come to an end eventually so what can be the ending configuration for this process if we are talking about sir model there are two end configurations two end configurations and the one one ending configuration is there are certain nodes in the network which are still susceptible and then the rest of the nodes in this network are recovered is the one one possible configuration there are some edges between them and second possible configuration is every node in this network has become recovered and whenever the sir uh, process runs on any network it will end here or it will end here it cannot keep running for an indefinite period of time let us now see what happens in the case of S sis model so here i'm talking about sis model let's see whether it will come to an end or not so there are certain susceptible nodes here i draw some susceptible nodes and these are connected with some edges here make some edges okay and then the infection will start from some node so let's say this is the node from where the infection starts and then what will happen with time again this node is going to infect some other nodes let's say this node infects these two nodes and what will happen is this node will now go back to the susceptible state so you see it is not locked here it goes back to the susceptible state and now these two nodes they'll infect some more nodes let's see this and this and now these two nodes they go to the susceptible state and then these two again two infected nodes these two infected nodes they can again infect some nodes so let's say they infect this node over here so this node gets infected and you see it can be a cycle it can be an indefinite cycle rather the simplest form of cycle let me tell you so this node over here let's say this node infects this node and it then it becomes susceptible after some time this node infects this node so this node is infected and this node becomes susceptible and this process can keep running for forever this process can keep running forever so there is no guarantee that a sis process will ever stop but once it stops suppose that these two nodes have also recovered and in the next iteration this node over here it is unable to infect any other node and then it will also turn into susceptible in this case you see what happened in this case your epidemic or your contagion has died forever so what did we see we see that in the case of in this lecture we saw that sir model will definitely come to an end but if we talk about the sis model it can keep running forever it can keep running forever